The Boy Who Said No Written by Charlie Griffin Illustrated by Catherine Durst When Max was a baby, he was all sweetness and light. His mum and dad adored him and they cuddled him tight. Then Max grew bigger and things began to change. Mum and dad had noticed something quite strange. When it happened, mum and dad didn't quite know. It was just that one day, Max began to say no. Before long, it was the only word Max had to say. He said it more than a hundred times a day. No, 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 no. If mum said, come on Max, get up, let's go. Max clung to his teddy and just said no. Max refused to get out of bed. No, he cried. I'm staying here instead. It was no to t-shirts. No to shoes. It was no to everything mum would choose. At mealtimes, Max was always in a bad mood. No, he said. I don't like any of that food. No, said Max to tidying his toys. No, he said to a bit less noise. Max said no, walking along the path. He said no to having a bath. When he really should have been in bed, Max refused and shook his head. Relax, Max, said Mum. Go with the flow. Max stamped his feet and shouted, No! The next day, Mum didn't wake Max. She woke up Teddy instead. Let's get you dressed, Teddy. I've got a surprise, she said. If only Max could get dressed too. He would come along with you. Max didn't want to be left behind. He quickly got dressed and he didn't mind. At breakfast, Mum pretended Teddy had eaten all his up. So have I, said Max, finishing the milk from his cup. It's time for the surprise, said Mum. Well done, Teddy. I want the surprise too, cried Max. I'm all ready. What is it? asked Max as they got in the car. Would it take long? Is it very far? It seemed like ages until Dad stopped somewhere right outside the mega fun fair. Mum put Teddy by Max's side. She asked if Max would like to go on a ride. Max's reply wasn't hard to guess. Suddenly he became the boy who said, Yes! <laughs>